uh, you know, Rodriguez and Piñera, if he plays a lot in this ball, they will have a lot to say about the, the banging inside. But you know what? Espinas, when he comes off the bench, and also uh, number four, Garrido. Right, here's a steal, though, by the Blue Shirts. And they will set it up, pass underneath, Sanz picks it, backs it, and scores it. That was excellent recognition on the part of Castro. He saw the Still with the blue shirts. Interesto is Castro Castro, let's it fly off the glass. It's good. And the Knights probably realized by now. Hey, PCU on top by a point. Here's Castro. Castro to Salamsan, back to Castro. Castro slides in, glides and yo-yos it. To the rack. Talk about shifty. Of the Letran Knights Think Tank. This is Studio 23's continuing coverage of the NCAA Mighty at 80. We'll be there now with the, how the other teams have emerged here in the second round, particularly the Dolphins. That is correct. How about to see uh, Rob Sands? Uh, NCAA Naden Abad. Right. All try to. Go to Andaya, but not anticipate Vinasa Garrido. It's good for the stop. <laughs> and Ian Garrido playing in, in, uh, in the NCAA. ECU has four players averaging at almost 10 points a game. He did not uh, violate the verticality of Andaya. All right, so honest defense all the way for the Dolphins. Here's Retaga. Can find the at the basket. Espina scoops it in. And the Dolphins are having fun here in the first quarter in uh, the offensive department. So welcome now to the second quarter of play. Sam tries to open things up and is successful with that flip. Uh, but his points have been uh, quite silent, yet effective. No point, yes. points. However you look at it, here's a three from Sanz. That bounces out. Garrido, nobody bouncing him up. No way and really can stop him down low. Retaga. Remember that TCU is riding on a five-game winning run here in the second round. They have been undefeated in the second round of action. Seven points for the Retaga. Launches a three. I won't go. Garrido. Another nice follow. Para sa kanya. Opportunity for the Dolphins to turn down the speed point deficit. Retaga lets it fly. Yeah. Espinas being guarded by a smaller guy. Now a three by Retaga. That's a huge one, good. And the lead is down to four. We are down to four minutes and five seconds. Two points separate these two teams. Espinas again. Stops. Fakes. Gets blocked. He gets the ball, however. Puts it up. Nothing. And Solis with a big lead now. And... Seven each. Get the ball inside to Espina. I like it. The ball being easy. Again, going baseline. Here, the deco. I believe it's Sanz. Sanz with a layup. It's good. We're tied once more. A lot of good things happen to TCU. When it's Picasso. Now it's the other uh, rookie's turn to do something. Espina, so And that time around, that's Peyton and Letran. Espina's for it. What a magical shot. That was so deep. Managing to put the ball. The hole again. at 74. And Alcaraz will come to and determined only in the final seconds of this ball game. PCU Dolphins emerging victorious over the the Tron Knights, 82, 77. And we will have our Milo Energy Player of the Game interview. No doubt. He was the crux of the offense and, and a big part of this win when they came back from 10 points down. It will be, it's none other than Gabi Espina. All right, Gabi Espina is performing very well. 22 points. There's that double double for you. 11 boards, 3 assists, and 3 steals. Complete game for complete player. And don't uh, think about it, he's just our rookie. So he is our Milo Energy player of the game. The winning energy lives on. In the final four picture, it doesn't mean that. No, it means that basically is that PCU has a pretty good chance of earning one of those two uh, twice to beat slots. So 
For all of us here at uh, ABS-CBN Sports, for Mr. Bush Maniego, this is Caloy Inductivo. It was a great game. Good game. Good night.